This video will show the basics of installing a LiftMaster NEMA 4 gearhead operator for a Chase DuraShield door. All electrical work should be performed by a qualified electrician in accordance with all applicable codes. Refer to the installation manual for connection and operation instructions. Now let's get started. The operator may be mounted on the wall, a shelf, or bracket. We recommend installing it 12 to 15 inches between the operator drive shaft and the door shaft. Slide the door sprocket onto the door shaft and then slide the key into the keyway. Make sure the door and operator sprockets are aligned with one another. Place the drive chain around both sprockets. Once the chain is installed, double check for alignment and tighten the set screws to secure the sprockets in place. Make sure the chain is snug but not too tight as this may cause premature wear on the bearings. If you ordered a chain hoist operator, now is the time to install the chain on the sprocket. Drill a hole for the incoming power connection through the bottom of the control panel. Use caution not to damage any of the electrical components when doing this. Mount a box connector and run the wires into the control box. Connect the wires to the power terminals. To adjust the limit switch, press the retaining plate and turn the white limit nut. Adjust in small increments until the door fully opens and seals to the floor. Once the adjustments have been completed, release the retaining plate. Be sure to verify that the retaining plate is fully seated with the notches of the limit nut. Once assembly is completed, you'll need to adjust the clutch. There should be just enough tension on the clutch to permit smooth operation of the door. Secure the clutch with a cotter pin provided. We hope this video was helpful. For more information on Chase products, visit our website at www.chasedoors.com.